Hi, I'm David Wright. I'm making a series of videos on how to build a Kenya Top Bar Hive. You can download the plans for free at BioBees.com. The first step in making a Top Bar Hive is to make a few Top Bars and then your follower boards. Because you use the follower boards as sort of a mold or a jig to build your Kenya Top Bar Hive. We're going to make three different top bars. One with a groove for popsicle stick comb guide. One with a corner molding or cove molding cut and nailed on as the comb guide. And one with no comb guide at all that we'll use to put on the top of the follower boards. Using 1x4s you want your top bars to be 1 and 3 8 inches so you can mark off 1 and 3 8 and do this on down the board then you take your straight edge and with your straight edge you mark that off we're going to make our top bars 17 inches long so we'll mark 17 inches and just square that off. No big deal. Since we want to do the popsicle sticks, we need a line in the middle, which comes out to just about three quarters of an inch. Slightly less than three quarters of an inch. So we'll make a couple of tick marks just under three quarters of an inch. I'm only going to go two or three inches from the ends. Like this one, for example, you got this little piece here and it just runs out. That much, that's the end of the hive where the bees put propolis on there on both ends. See, that's there's the end of the hive. Since that's the end of the hive, I don't want this hole to go out through the end and then the bees will have to plug it. So I just dump my saw on here, go along and pick it back up. Now we've got our little saw set up so that it doesn't cut very deep. We don't want to go through the wood. We're just making this little cut that's for the popsicle sticks. Now we want to make the two top bars. There's one, we want to cut the other one. the other one. Now all we do is cross cut and we have two top bars. And a shim. Two top bars and a shim. Okay let's go ahead and make us a popsicle stick top bar. Here's the regular old wood glue, a couple of popsicle sticks you get from the craft store. What I do is just run a little bead of glue on the, right on the popsicle stick. Because that should be enough. 
You know, with wood glue, a little bit of glue goes a long ways. There's one. We'll just put that in here. These don't have to match up. Pretty tight. With a bigger saw, my little saw has a thin blade. With a bigger saw, you'd have a little bit more slop. But it doesn't matter. You put your glue on, get it on the edge, stand it up in there. These don't have to touch. The bees will figure it out. I've had bees build comb. There we go. I've had bees build a comb hanging off this one and off this one and then run them together. That's it. Just let it set up and dry. Now this is the cove molding or corner molding. I think the proper name is cove molding because it has a little cove in it. I use these upside down centered on the top bar and it makes a real nice little edge. These I cut a foot long. I buy them in eight foot pieces, cut them a foot long and they'll get centered in here. These don't have to be exact. There you go. Now I got eight pieces a foot long. Let's look at how one looks. They just go right centered in the middle. And then we'll get the brad nailer and we'll glue and nail those on. What I have is a little brad nailer with one inch brads in it and that will nail this on nicely. If you don't have a nailer, this is hard wood so you may have to drill a hole before you put a little nail in it or you could even use screws if you drill it first. But the brad nailer does a pretty good job getting through. So all we're going to do is run a bead of glue down these edges doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to let it dry upside down or so that this glue is sitting seeking gravity. And it'll fill in any little void. That's good enough. Plenty of glue. A little bit goes a long ways. We'll center it right in the middle of the top bar. And then we'll take our brad nailer, nail gun, whatever we want to call it. Hold it down good. There's one. You want to get this right in the middle on the top. Two. Three. There you go. One, two. This one isn't exactly perfect. I do not bother to poke those in with a hammer. If they're hanging out a little bit, I just leave them. Because the bees are going to cover that with wax. You can see, particularly on this side, how the glue's kind of doing its thing. So now you just set this off to the side like that and let it dry. There you go. You have a top bar.